how to power up this kind of flashlight with a 6 volt battery. You see it's not gonna fit no way into this flashlight. Well, with this hack I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Well, let's get to it. So you got one of those big flashlights that runs on this three big batteries and let's say they are dead and what are you gonna do all you have is one of these batteries and a flashlight and these batteries are dead how can you use this to power up this flashlight simply all we have to do is open it and let's see what's inside of these batteries kids do not try this at home so if we open it look what we find we find this giant batteries inside of it now we're gonna take them apart and all we need is put two of them uh, this is the bottom this is the top two of them in there and screw this top on and let's see if it's gonna turn on guess what and it works perfectly so you can substitute this battery, just two of this instead of three of this. And in survival situation, if you need to power up flashlight and you only have one of these batteries, you actually have four of these batteries. And it only takes two batteries for this flashlight. Super. Very cool life hack with a flashlight and a head. Let's check this out. So we got a head right here, then we're gonna grab a clip binder. Put it on the side like that, simple, huh? And then we're gonna grab our flashlight and stick it right in the, into the binder and a head. Now you got a head flashlight. So that way your heads are gonna be free and you're gonna see everywhere you're gonna look at. Let's test it out. So this is what it's gonna look like. By the way, you can just take off this little thing right here so it's not in the way. You can just take this two, two off and you see flashlight holding. Now I can just put it back on and look, I got head flashlight which is really cheap because this flashlight a couple dollars and the clip binder doesn't worth anything. So let's go test it out and you know I don't even feel it. It sits so perfectly right here, it's awesome. Now everywhere I look, you see the, when I move my head the light is moving with me, so if I need to walk on something, boom, I have two free hands and I don't have to hold my flashlight. Pretty awesome, huh? Right. So all you have is one battery, but the flashlight required two. How can we make it work? You know, with one battery, it will not work. Well, all you need is aluminum foil. Pretty easy to find and I'm gonna show you how to hack it. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna get our aluminum foil. Not too much, this is, would be enough. And just rip it off. That piece right here. And then we need to fold this uh, aluminum foil in uh, this shape. So, it's pretty easy. Fold it in half, then another half. Then in the other half. You see, it's almost the same size. You can fold a little bit more, but you don't have to. I'm gonna do it. All right. So that's the same size right here. And then next step, all we gotta do is roll it up. Roll it up like that. So yeah, and then we got this shape of thing. That will feel good, it's okay that this one a little bit thicker, it's all good. Then we're gonna get our flashlight, unscrew it, and then drop aluminum foil first. Drop it in there. You see how it is in there? And then drop the butter in there. And then screw the flashlight back on. As you can see it works, just with one battery. So yeah, as you can see it works, pretty cool stuff, just one battery and aluminum foil. It's a very powerful flashlight, it's not a toy, 
because it's so bright that it can set paper on fire let's check this out so there is one bottom right here turn this one and another one right here to change the power of the flashlight as you can see I'm gonna set it on brightest now I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and look I'm gonna set a flashlight right on it and instantly starting smoking you see that and boom it's on fire pretty incredible flashlight fire starter the light bulb is so powerful you do not want to touch this side of course this thing is not for kids because they can make themselves blind but there is a really good safety so if kids even find the flashlight they don't know know how to turn it on i'm not going to reveal it how to but let's see what will happen with the newspaper look instantly isn't it insane try this again look i got a piece of newspaper right here and then i'm gonna boom and it sets on fire pretty incredible huh Let's try this again look at the newspaper boom set on fire instantly so this is what the company of this flashlight, Wicked Lasers, um, flash torch, pretty insane. As you can see, you have a bunch of warnings. I love that flashlight, it's amazing. Couple of batteries, little light bulb, staples, couple of staples, and duct tape. So today I'm gonna make a flashlight out of these things. So the first thing you wanna do, get two batteries and tape, tape them up together. Make sure they connecting to each other. As you can see, it looks like one solid piece. So it's gonna look like that. It's connected to each other. Then we need two of the staples. We wanna break them apart. Oh snap, it broke, but it's okay. Hopefully it will be enough. You see sometimes in the zombie apocalypse you're gonna find some old stuff which fall apart. So we got one and we got two. Make it like a small wire and then we need to interwind them together right here like that and put a layer of tape so they won't they will not fall apart. Alright we got our staples together like that then we wanna then you wanna hook up light bulb like that and this is like support so the light bulb will not fall out and then in the bottom we're gonna do it like that and get our thing and like see how far it's gonna go here and then pretty much fold it right here and as you can see it works and let's go check out in the dark as you can see it works pretty good in the dark Here is a door, you know, you can look at it from far away. Bing in it. How cool is that? 